Big Willie, we gotta talk. Are you out there really murking people? Yo, what is up? Welcome back to Instructions for Humanity. It's your girl, Tahira, mother of the ages. I'm your supernatural quantum healer. I do past life quantum healing sessions. If you would like to book a session with me, go ahead and email me instructions number four humanity at gmail.com. Let go. Y'all, we need to talk about William. We're going to talk about William, Prince William. We're going to talk about Catherine. We're going to talk about all of these mysterious deaths that are going on. Y'all, it's like some legit death energy going on in that royal palace or whatever you want to call it. We're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about where I saw Kate. I saw Kate in the afterlife and I did see her pushing a baby. So are the rumors true that she was pregnant? This is what we're going to talk about. And guys, this is like an impromptu video, but when I show up, spirit shows up. So we're going to see if we can channel any more additional messages about this. But y'all, like seriously, we have to talk. Like William, I even call him Prince. Willie boy, Willie boy, what's going on? Now, Pippa's, Pippa's ex, Thomas, is, has been murked. They're saying that, you know, suicide or whatever like that, but y'all all know what then happened. Y'all all know what didn't happen. Okay. We need to talk about this. So, Catherine, told you, I watched, um, I'll, I'll link the video, but a few nights ago, I saw Catherine in a vision. She was like a, a spirit and she was walking down the palace hallways, the corridor, Buckingham Palace. And she was pushing a baby carriage and she had a little dog behind her. And she was saying, I need to see if my husband is cheating. I need to see if my husband is cheating. That's what she was saying. I saw her spirit, right? Now, what I left out of the other video is she also was saying, not saying, but she, I saw her closing and opening doors as if her ghost was hunting. Uh, certain people in the palace, right? She was opening and closing doors, like purposely trying to get someone to listen to her. Where is Kate? Everyone knows, where is Kate? I've been feeling this for a while. First spirit told me she's in a cryogenic state. That's when they freeze your body. You're technically dead, but your, your body technically is preserved. So it's still alive. So I, I've been saying this. Her body's technically alive, but she's dead. Her body's technically alive, but Kate is gone. This is the energy I've been feeling. And what I truly believe, and I've been saying this for a while, my 2024 predictions video, I was feeling a lot of death energy. This is the reason why all of this is happening, y'all. We I got to take y'all back to 2020 when the world was on lockdown and everybody was too busy hating on Trump because of how ignorant he act. Well, a lot of people believe that Trump did all these executive orders to drain the swamp, right? So whether you believe it was Trump that drained the swamp, we have to really pay attention to all the things that's been going on. I remember seeing that the crest that goes outside Buckingham Palace actually removed and it was removed for a long time during COVID. That crest is actually giving them their, their status as royalty. That was gone. That's what I'm saying. There is no more monarchy. This is why all of this is happening. And we're going to get to it as well because look at his father setting the example. Uh, King, King Charles. Look what he did to Princess Diana. Now history is repeating itself because guys, it's cellular. When we go through something, it is cellular. All of this is happening through our DNA. It's being expressed through our DNA. So really, is William just a, a victim of his father's uh, damaged DNA, uh, murderous DNA? Quite possibly. So another thing I want to touch on, and I know I'm all over the place, but y'all, I got fasting brain. <laughs> I got fasting brain, but... There's a lot of death energy and the palace is no more. And then also too, all those people going on an F Island, uh, uh, Jeff Epp, how he got brought down. And there's a bunch of people on this, so to speak, so-called list. And people are getting murked, A-list uh, a celebrities left and right. This is supposed to be part of that drain the swamp, right? 
But really what it is, y'all, this, we are just in a new frequency. We have reached the new age. And this is the age of truth. So naturally things will fall down that were built on lies, that were built on smoke and mirrors. This is what's going on. But William is not going to get away with this. And we're going to get to that. But all these celebrities too. I keep telling y'all, Beyonce is going through a divorce. I had a vision of her going through a divorce, being heavily pregnant with twins. And I do believe that this second act of the Renaissance is what Spirit was trying to tell me. She's going to go through a divorce when she is birthing this new project, project number two of the Renaissance, the twin, right? So their divorce energy in 2024, there's death energy. So many divorces will happen. And it's, oh, there will be a lot more deaths happening this year because the things that were built on lies now are coming down to reveal the truth. What's behind door number one? So, um, William, William, like what would happen, y'all? Like, seriously, can you can he even go to, to jail? Like, I, I don't even know how that works. But you can see when you just look at him, he looks guilty. He looks guilty. And so a lot of people think, oh, if you go to jail, you know, that is, um, you know, you're going to get your punishment. Or, or if you get death penalty, you get your punishment. No, his punishment is this spirits of these people that he's been participating in murking them. It's going to haunt him every day of his life. That's going to be punishment. And also in the afterlife as, as well. There is no way to get around when you do bad. It sticks to you. It sticks to your DNA sticks to your DNA. Everything is always happening on an intracellular, extracellular, extracellular level. Charles is to blame for this. He is seated from his father. Let's not forget where this started. This just didn't start with Willie. Thinking he a thug now. Running around Buckingham Palace marking people. People who don't go along with what, what he wants them to do. This started with Charles. We always have to look. I'm sorry. and I, we, we are nothing more than our DNA. We have to look at where he came from, the example. If Charles wouldn't have never divorced, William wouldn't even be thinking about divorce. And that's what happened. And I'm going to let spirit take over now, right? And start to talk about what possibly happened. So there was some sort of fight Guys, there was some sort of fight between um, William and Kate. I want to call her Katie Pop. I don't know why I want to say Katie Pop. There was some sort of fight. And a lot of people are saying that it was about a divorce. And it was about a divorce. There was a lot of topics. But they've been constantly fighting since Harry and Meghan have entered into their domain because there's one thing to have things to bind you together when they were put on a pedestal and harry was the third wheel no pun intended <laughs> was the third wheel they were fine the energy i mean yeah he was still doing his thug dizzle thing right still cheating and whatnot but the energy they were binded but the moment the dynamic when megan came now that dynamic shifted and it caused their jealousy caused them to actually separate in frequency in energy will and kate so now it's like what do we have to do to put ourselves back on top you know there's that internal struggle between the two relationships with the two brothers and two wives and then there's also the internal um, struggle within themselves and within the, the partnerships as well. So this really opened things up. And low key, William thought that Megan should have slept with him, should have cheated with him. This is what I'm picking up on. I'm even seeing that he did make some innuendos, some passes. And they were a little bit more than into windows. And she rejected it. And I believe Kate knew about it. 
So you got to think this is all unraveling. It's all kind of just part of the story, right? And then of course he he's uh, got his little rose rose baby pop. He got her, and I think he was basically trying to get rid of Kate and upgrade. That's what he was trying to do. He's trying to upgrade right when he's about to become, so to speak, king. Which you know the monarchy is over. It's over. It doesn't even exist anymore. Which brings me to my next point. This is all stage play. They have to tear it down by giving us, you know, giving us the show. They're not going to say, hey, this whole thing was a lie and we not the sovereign and God didn't tell us to be here and we've been stealing from y'all and robbing y'all and uh, killing y'all for all these years and oppressing y'all. They can't just come out and say that. So they have to give us a show. This is a show. So don't be surprised if more people come up missing, more people you just don't see them anymore, more people come up murked. Do not be surprised. More people start stepping down, Harry and Meghan. This is all part of the plan. They can't tell you this whole thing was a sham. So they just have to like start slowly unraveling everything so that you think that the kingdom just fell down. But in fact, it's just the energy. We're in the new age where only leg to stand on is the leg of truth. Look at my video. I did a channeling with uh, Yeshua, Jesus, and he was talking about the leg of truth. Like it's a very deep, candid uh, channel message about 40 minutes. I spoke to him. Yep, it was amazing. So I will try to link that. But another thing I want to tell you guys it's funny because this is what this is the play they had set up for Megan. This was the play. They wanted her murked. This was the play. This was the forecast. This was the plan. This was in the works. It wasn't even, it had been spoken about. It had been spoken about. And what I'm getting is that they were going to delay it for five years so it wouldn't look so suspicious. They already had plans for that. So by the time that uh, Will, Willie would have take, taken office, Megan would have been gone long gone, you know? Um, that was their plan. They were going to wait five years. And I think that they got wind of that, or at least Harry did. And he took his family away because he already saw the foolishness and what was going on, which makes me think. <laughs> Is Harry actually um, Charles's um, son? Because like I said, everything is in your DNA. And he, he, he chose to walk another path. And really what I'm getting is... We have polarities. Even in our DNA, we have a polarity strand in there. So as of when you experience something good to the max, the other side of that DNA strand has to experience the, the same thing, but the polarity to the opposite negative uh, end, right? So I believe that Harry was an aspect of Prince Charles, or now King Charles, rather, DNA to act out the polarity, the, the other option. He chose option number one. Oh, let me just get rid of Diana and uh, keep on my thug dizzle and with the, you know, his wife. I don't even know her name. Don't know her name. Camilla, I think it is. But Another aspect of that DNA is being expressed. And Harry chose option number two, the opposite polarity. I'm going to stand up for my wife, even if I look weak to the people inside. I'm going to be the man that I'm supposed to be. I'm going to honor my vows. And not only that, I am going to be a protector. And even if it costs me my titles and my prestige, I'm going to protect my family and get them out of here. That was the salvation. So our DNA, and it's now the girl, this is going into a spiritual teaching. So our DNA is always trying to express both polarities. It's always trying to express it. So that's why we saw that playing out. So William, we see him playing out the one polarity, option number one, and Harry's playing out option number two. So that's just a little uh, teaching, I guess, that Spirit wanted to uh, let us know about our DNA. Um, it's our structured uh, DNA. 
And the more we choose righteous choices is the more we actually update those codes within our DNA. So then that way, that way we can cleanse out the lower aspect of ourselves, which is happening on a DNA cellular level. Okay. Um, last thing I want to say, I truly believe this 16 carriages song, it's not just about Beyonce's life. When you think about carriage, carriages, you think about royalty. What a coincidence. This is really about an energy that's going on. It's the cleansing out of the upper boss, upper society. We're about to experience a paradigm shift. The same polarity now must be expressed. So now these people, this energy must die. We're in a new age now. This energy must come down. And all of us, so to speak, common folk, we're going to start to rise in frequency as this old world is coming down. So as these A-list celebrities and royalties and aristocrats from all over the world are coming down. That's what the 16 characters is about. It's really a theme song for the elites of what's happening to them. Now, I'm not saying it was written for that purpose, but this is the energy of it. This is absolutely the energy of it. So like I was saying before, it'd be very interesting if Miss Kate Middleton does pass away. Because like I said, what spirit is told, I saw her spirit already. The only reason why Kate is kind of hanging on, she's in a purgatory state, is because she was pregnant. And now the fasting brain remembers, guys. Sorry. I'm supposed to say this like 10 minutes ago. It's because she was pregnant. And I do believe she was pregnant. Ooh, I'm seeing. First I'm getting a son, and now I'm seeing a little girl. Was it twins? I think it's twins. I think it was twins, guys. A boy and a girl. Is it, I'm hearing Isabel. I don't know why I'm hearing Isabel. Isabel. For, for the little girl. I'm hearing Isabel. I don't know what that means. And something like Jeff Franks or something. Not Jeffrey. It's like a up. It's like Jeffrey, but it's like a more prestigious form of Jeffrey. Something like that. Jeff Stonks or Jeff. I don't know. Maybe you just say it that way, but it's some sort of Jeffrey or some sort. Um, so I do believe that it was twins that she was pregnant with. And I believe that that is what was driving William to, to harm her. I truly believe he did harm her. I do. I do. Do I believe that it was on purpose halfway? Yeah. You know how you're in the heat of the moment? Even though you truly want this person to just to go away. He doesn't want to be with her. He's trying to switch her out for a new mom. In his mind, he's already dumped her. He's already single, right? But even though he was trying to upgrade to a new model, she put all this work in. She was good at her job. She wanted to stay doing that. She wanted to, to still be present for her children. She didn't want the monarchy to, to own them, right? And I truly believe that, that there was one argument and it went too far. And I truly believe that William was in a drunken state. I do. I do. I feel like there was some sort of tussle and pushing and something happened where the, her body just did not land right. It either hit something, a corner of something. He either hit her in a way where you knock someone out. It was something that was triggered. This is what I truly believe. I do. Um, I'm going to leave this here because I don't want this video to run too long. But guys, subscribe to the channel. It's your girl, mother of the ages, guys. Be well. Love is the way. Forgiveness is the key, and truth is the light that will always guide us home. Be well, guys. Bye.